Okay, so I'm narrating this because it's easier than putting a whole bunch of titles on something or typing. Um, this is a quick video to demonstrate how the Nazi 32 return to home went horribly wrong. Uh, just testing out a, a new build in a lovely spot and uh, yeah, apart from a few little wobbles, it's very, very stable. And a beautiful day, so went up nice and high, did a couple of flips, there we go, and then thought I'll go and do a little bit of a range run. Um, I'm pretty much straight ahead in this bit here. And I thought, we'll go off to the left here and explore up here a little bit. Now, the problem here was that that looks kind of flat, but it's actually not. It's a fucking steep hill, and I can tell you that because I had to bolt up it after I crashed looking for the quad. That was fun. Um, the little tree, sort of bottom right of the paddock there, is actually the one that's in the other video um, that I put up from this place a couple of weeks ago. Trivia. Anyway, I got about about seven or eight hundred meters and thought that's far enough, I'll turn around and at that exact moment I went into failsafe because we lost line of sight back to where I was sitting. Bang, there it goes. Came out of it briefly but didn't go up high enough and then back into failsafe. So unfortunately we are vaguely returning in the right direction but as you can see it's not working the way we would want it to and we are about to reverse into the ground. Ouch. Amazingly this did not destroy the cord as you saw from what was coming down, could very well have been very nasty. I finally found the damn thing in more or less one piece, amazingly. Um, yeah, thought I'd just pick it up and wave into the camera because my mate was also looking. We both had our goggles on and we could see the video feed, so I thought the easiest way to let him know I'd found it was to just give him a little wave and a smile. You could hear him go, yay, from across the hill. In the immortal words. What the fuck happened there? Yeah, now we know. So, the moral of the story is always bind into stabilized mode along with return to home and probably some sort of altitude hold as well. Otherwise, you are going to come back to Earth pretty quickly with an ASI 32. Don't rely on the GPS. So there you go. That's your daily dose of schadenfreude. Enjoy.